Hey guys, this is Drivers of Someone, and we're back to Let's Play Twilight Princess. In the last part, we met up with Russell back at Farron Woods, and he told us to get here to the Sacred Grove to find a sacred temple of some sort, and so here we are, and we just defeated the Skull Kid, so let's go ahead and move on forward to a very familiar location. Yep, we're back here, except we've arrived in a completely different area. Remember that place? Yep, I do. Let's go ahead and push this block over. This will actually lead us back to... the most sacredest of sacred groves. The sacred ancient forest. So this was what they were talking about. Yep, except we've already been here before, Minna. Uh, except the only difference is we've been here before, except the only difference is... What am I saying? Okay, let's stop. Let's go ahead and... Uh, before we traverse further, I want to go back to the area we fought Skull Kid as Wolf Link. I don't see the need for any cut, like, difference in the... Whatever, I guess only because since this is part of the Sacred Grove and not part of the uh, Sacred Sacred Grove. Here's what I wanted to show you. There is a piece of heart located right under... Ah! It's a Poe, not a piece of heart! You lied to me! Dang it! I didn't want to do that. Fine, whatever. Piece of heart, Poe, it's fine. It's all good. Alright. But, there should be a piece of heart located within this area. I do believe, I do declare. Should be... Around here. Somewhere out there. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. Let's go ahead and go back, I guess, to the um, sacredest of sacred groves. That's what I'm gonna call it. It just sounds so nice. I swear, that was supposed to be a piece of heart, not a postal. Whatevs, dude. Maybe it's around here. Let's check around here for a little bit. I know there's a golden bug. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a given. I don't know that much. There's a treasure chest here. Ooh, I wonder what that could be. We'll find out. Except it's all old and disgusting. <laughs> I want a, I want a nice treasure chest. A treasure chest that looks nice. And, uh, healthy and clean and stuff. I swear, where's the... There's a, a boulder. Okay, I'm gonna make a liar out of myself and... Okay, let's not worry about this piece of heart that apparently doesn't exist here. Let's go ahead and... We have to transform back into a wolf, I guess? No? Okay. Let's go transform back into a human. And let's head on back here, maybe? Huh. Hmm. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, talk to the pedestal, I suppose. Whoa. It's gone. Okay, uh, that was kind of weird. How come that didn't happen before we even picked up the Master Sword? I don't know. Oh, uh, maybe it's because since we, uh, we, uh, we were chosen by the ma- Dude, really? Oh my god. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Of all the times you could be doing this, seriously. You really gotta work on your timing there, Shadow Beasts. Alright, fine. Alright, where is the other one? Oh crap, there's a... There's a loner over there. Alright, let's go get this guy. Alright, you two. You two. Get closer. Get closer! There you go. Dang it! Oh my god, you're supposed to get closer, you jerk faces! Alright. You two, go down. You go down. And you two, come over. Dude! Seriously! Come on! You. Okay, you're dead. You die. Die already. I don't know why my spin attack's not working. And you two get close. Oh my god! You're supposed to spin attack when I rotate my control stick. Alright, okay. 
Now you two get close. You're not far, you're not close enough. Okay, screw this. Frickin' Wolf Link. I don't know why Human Link sucks right now. Ugh! This is bothering me. Okay, you get close. You get close. Come here. There we go, finally! See, Wolf Link does have some good qualities that Human Link sucks at! Like, for example, rolling into doors and stuff, because that really, really bothers me. Alright, so let's go ahead and transform back into a human now that we have a warp point here to the Sacred Woods. At least that way I can come back anytime I want to to actually figure out where that stupid piece of heart location is supposed to be located. I know I'm not dreaming. I know I'm not thinking things. I know I've read the right wikis to find out where the heart piece is located. Alright, so now that the guy's gone, we can actually go through this door. Except it goes right to nowhere. Wait, what? Whoa. That's totally magical, dude. Holy crap, we're in Zelda Wii U! No, I'm just kidding. But, we are in a very, very, very well-known place, if you can hear from the music. Awesome. Alright, let's go back to where the, um, the, the, the Master Sword lies. Look at this place, this is awesome! Looks so holy. I love this place. Alright, let's go. Let's do what we did last time and, uh, put our Master Sword into the pedestal. Ooh, light! It's the stairway to heaven! Maybe that's where Navi is. You guys remember, uh, Navi did leave the- What the heck?! Uku?! What? What? What the heck just happened there? There's a totally new chamber. Holy crap. This wasn't an Ocarina of Time. Oh well. Let's go on inside. Welcome to the Temple of Time! That's right, the Temple of Time is the sixth dungeon of Twilight Princess. Alright, so, we are here in the Temple of Time, a very, very awesome, this probably is a, a really close tie to uh, my favorite dungeon of the game because it has a lot of history as well as uh, really good puzzles, to be honest. And Min is going to make a fact about the door. Don't you think there's something odd about that statue? In the grove and in the temple entry, there were always matching ones on each side, but there's only one here. Why don't you use your senses to take a look around? Hmm, good idea. So, the theme of the Temple of Time is symmetry, and, whoa, there used to be something there. I knew it! There was one more here originally. We need to find the other statue in the temple that matches this one. Alright, so, like I said before, this is, um, based on switches and symmetry, as you can see here. There's a statue on that side, but there is no statue on this side, so let's go ahead and put a pot down. And that will raise this, um, platform here. So, um, very, very clever puzzle elements in this dungeon. This is why it's one of my favorites, one of my top three, I suppose, uh, in this game. So, it's really nice. Er, not so fast. At last, the sixth. This is where I've been trying to get to. The ancient technology of our people sleeps in this place. We've searched all over, and now we're so close. I can smell it. Watch me find that thing, I can do- I can go home at last! Oh gracious, yes! Erm, young man, we're so close, so please help us find what we're looking for. Alright, so we found Uku really, really early in the dungeon, but, um... It's funny, I, I don't think I even found her in, uh, the Snow Peak Ruins. But, uh, it's been a while since we saw her, but... Whatever, oh, we don't have a key, unfortunately. So, uh... Should be right over here, actually. Let's go ahead and light these torches with our lantern. And it should reveal a treasure chest. Aha, uh -huh, a very nice looking treasure chest. Which should contain our key. 
most likely, because, yeah, there we go. Because otherwise we wouldn't have uh, made any progress whatsoever in this dungeon if we didn't have a key in this room. And I want to see what happens if I blow up these two torches. I don't think I don't think anything will happen. It just seems so odd. But uh, let's go ahead and see what... Oh, I can't blow them out. Oh, they're invincible! Alright, whatever. Let's go ahead and open the door and head on through to this room. Oh, there's a spider dude! I don't know for sure if these are actual gomas, but um, they seem to be, I suppose. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't. If, if not, then I'm mistaken. If they are, that's pretty cool. But um, what gomas are, are basically uh, spider enemies, one-eyed spider enemies. It kind of sort of self-explains that they maybe most likely are gomas. But, um, oh, I was supposed to leave one of these pots here for the door. Okay, I'm stupid. Um, but gomas are essentially one-eyed spider creatures from uh, the very first classic... Oh, no. Did gomas make an appearance in the original Zelda game? I'm not entirely sure. But they did make an appearance in Ocarina of Time, of course. And they also made an appearance in Wind Waker, I do believe. And then there's also... Oh, there we go. Okay, it opens both doors, which is really nice. Alright, let's go ahead and grab this chest here real quick. Get some arrows, this will be very important in this dungeon. And let's attack this Goma. One arrow should actually do the trick, but uh, hey, two sword slices also do the trick. And we should be able to use our claw shot in this next room here. Or no, 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 we uh, use our arrow to uh, break the pot and... Close that door, but open this gate, which is really, again, really cool puzzle uh, qualities here. Aha! The Zelfos! You little jerk face. There you go, you're dead. And let's move on to the next room. We got two Lizalfos here. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright. There we go. Oh crap, we just awakened that guy! Alright, so, um, that is a new enemy that we've uh, discovered. It's called Armos. Uh, I think they started off in uh, Ocarina... Oh, no, uh, Link to the Past. Um, they're pretty much the same... Uh, their attack patterns are pretty much the same, whereas they uh, hop around trying to hurt you, and then uh, usually their uh, weak spot is on the back. As for this uh, incarnation, they have a crystal that's located on the back. One arrow should do the trick, but of course, back slice is also effective. Now we reveal a treasure chest here that should contain the dungeon map, and I am right. See, this is why the Temple of Time is one of my favorite, because it's so memorable. I know pretty much all of the puzzles that uh, have to do with it. Probably when I get later on into the dungeon, I'll probably forget a couple here and there. But most of the... Most of the uh, I see a keys. I can see you. There you are. Alright, so we have to use these statues here to uh, put on the switches here. We can also alternatively use those uh, pots, but of course... It's cool to use those, uh, statues. And those are, uh, the holes in the statues actually become important later on as well. Um, but, again, I will make reference to that when it is time to do so. But right now, we're just going to open up this gate here. There we go. And hit that keys there before he attacks us. Sleeping them. Just kill <laughs> Link, why are you killing animals in their sleep, you murderer? Alright, so, in this room, it's a very big chamber with a, uh, a lot of, I, I think those are baby gomas, because they're just, like, adolescent, they have, like, egg pouches, I suppose, on their chest or whatever. There we go. Wow, not even a single, uh, helm splitter will do a trick. Okay, whatever. There we go. And get rid of that guy, alright. So, there is a postal here, actually, but we can't get to it right now. It is inside that chamber, uh, blocked by that gate there. Alright, ending blow. Nice. Yeah, yeah, Link, whatever. Don't, don't, don't be so, don't be so complacent. Alright. See, this is what happens when you get arrogant, Link. You end up getting attacked by everybody. Alright, so I think, um, beating some enemies up and, uh, getting to pretty much the middle, so to speak, of the Temple of Time. Uh, I'm gonna be going on forward in the next part, and I'll talk about what the importance of this thing is. But for right now, I will stay right by the wall here, make it look nice and epic. 
and uh, stuff. But for right now, this is Triforce Plus One, signing off.